Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo news, we're going to be covering an MMA fighter who broke his penis in half. Let's check out the story. Yeah. <laughs> On a recent episode of TLC's Sex Sent Me to the ER, MMA fighter and The Ultimate Fighter alumni Ray Elby said he broke his penis while having sex with his girlfriend. Elby, age 38, said during the act, she slipped and landed on him, bending his penis in half. According to the emergency room doctors, the reason his penis snapped is because the spongy tissue inside that expands during an erection broke when his girlfriend landed on it. Blood spurted out of the wound as soon as his penis bent, and LB passed out from the amount of blood he lost. LB was rushed to the hospital to treat his injuries. Doctors said LB ruptured his urethra and the major artery in his penis as well as the dorsal vein. After 12 hours of surgery and eight weeks of healing, LB made a full recovery. Dr. Jed Kaminsky, a clinical assistant professor at NYU Medical Center said, breaking a penis is a bit different from fracturing a bone. When engaging in intimacy, an erect penis can be fractured, but not in the typical way a bone would fracture. Unlike fracturing your humerus or radius, the bones that run from your wrist to your elbow, if a penis fracture occurs, the corpora cavernosa tears. The capora cavernosa are the three spongy chambers that make up the penis and fill with blood when an erection occurs, according to the Boston University School of Medicine. Though rare, Kaminsky said this kind of tear normally occurs after a hard blow to the penis, usually during sports, sex, or hitting a hard surface. When a penis does fracture, you may hear a popping sound, and the penis can start to turn black and blue. In severe cases, you can damage their urethra, leading to bloody urine. Now, although this story just recently hit the TV show for TLC, uh, it's actually not a new story. This story actually hit like eight years ago and just randomly popped up again because LB decided to do the show. LB is a really known MMA fighter and he was actually on The Ultimate Fighter, but something that some people might not know is he's actually married to Chris Cyborg. Now, to give you an idea of how bad this really had to suck for him, uh, he actually gave a story years ago about an interaction that he had with American Airlines. And I want to go ahead and show you some clips so that way you get the general gist of that story. And I'll add the link below to his YouTube channel so that way you can watch the entire story if you want to see. Getting off the flight in Shanghai, I was very roughly handled by, by the associate, almost to the point where it made you think that he had had a bad day before he got to me. So look, if you're not happy with your job, don't take it out on me. Some of us have real life issues. I got a broken penis, <laughs> you know. Led to a big scene in front of the in front of a, a ton of check-in members. New guy now comes to handle my my cart, and honestly, it's like Fast and the Furious live in Shanghai. Um, he's intentionally and deliberately crashing me into anything they can: corners, chairs, people, bags. As I'm literally jumping back and pleading with him to stop as I'm holding the end of my groin, this young Chinese man is laughing, basically letting the American know how he should have behaved himself in China. I arrive in the United States and immediately start noticing that I'm urinating blood. My catheter now is back to the normal color. Thank you, Jesus. But for two days, I urinated blood. And I think a major contributing factor to that was the rough handling shown to me by the American airline employees in China. Now, I did actually get the clips from the show. Now, the show has all the dramatization and stuff like that. So I cut out all the dramatization just so you can get to the story of what happened. And it's from his mouth and he'll tell you exactly what happened. So let's check it out. My name is Ray Elby, known in the fight community as Magical Ray. It was early evening time. I specifically remember my girlfriend saying that we're gonna go see a movie. We got a little bit intimate in the heat of passion, and she happened to be on top of me in the situation. <laughs> and unfortunately, yeah, she went a little bit too high. I slipped out, and when she came back down, I was still obviously fully erect, and basically, Bent me over the top. I immediately watched my erection as blood just spurt all over the place. She looked down and she said, oh, That's not me! That's not me! Oh, no, it's me! It's me! Help me up! Yeah. Help me up! I've had some significant injuries, but as far as the actual pain and all that, man, I was in shock at that point. What happened? Oh. What, is, what, is, what is going on? It was brutal. I ran into the bathroom, not really sure what to do. Oh. You're in survival mode. You 
don't even really understand that this is reality and that this is what's going on. You're just in reaction mode. There was so much blood loss, I felt lightheaded, and then I lost consciousness. I remember laying on the ground and waking up in a state of shock. It was, it was so for me. And that was the realization that this is not a dream. Yeah, this is happening. She grabbed some ice out of the freezer. I've had some significant injuries in my fight career. And I guess you could compare it to like when you're competing, you have the adrenaline, you have the crowd, you have like, if it really hurts during the fight, it really hurt, you know? Usually it's like a couple hours after the fight or a day after the fight before you really realize that you have an injury. It's not necessarily during the moment. I can't describe the pain. It was brutal. I told her, call the paramedics. He's bleeding from the penis. I that was an embarrassing moment for me, too, you know? There you are, in all your manhood, less than manly. We need to take you to the medical center. You think? Like, yeah, 100%, yes, I need to go to the emergency room now. It brings tears to your eyes. I don't care who you are, how tough you are as an individual. It, it was just a humbling experience. You have to be put into surgery, and if you don't, there's a buildup of scar tissue, which limits the amount of blood flow that's able to provide for an erection. Essentially, what he did is he cut and peeled the skin down and went into the two tubes and stitched the two tubes back together and then woke up, medicated. Literally, my testicles were the size of two softballs, like, because all the blood drained down in there. It was black, blue. I don't know what normal is on this channel because we only really cover weird shit in the martial arts industry, and this is pretty damn weird story, but why waste the opportunity to discuss any weird shit that's happened to you in the bedroom. So if you have any weird, crazy bedroom stories, injuries, or any weird things that might have happened, you know what? Why not toss them in the comment section? We'll all have a good laugh at each other. And uh, hopefully everybody has a wonderful day. Keep the martial arts legit.